Hi guys, Dinner Lady here. Now this is going to be a bit of a different video. I was approached by Kasori to see if I would review an air fryer for them. Um, we were a little bit humming and hawing about it, but what they've said was is they would send us two, one for us to review and one to give away to use lot. So I thought, right, if I can give something back, even if it's just to one year's, is a thank you for all the support that I've had. So they came the other day. So this is the box. It's the Kasori Turbo Blaze, six litre air fryer, cook, cooking faster, more energy efficient, five speeds um, for custom flavours, precise temperature control, nine versatile cooking functions. Now it does actually show you on the back the specifications on that. That's the model number, the power supply, the power rating, Capacity, like I say, it's six litres, and that serves three to five people. Temperature range from 30 degrees to 230, and 90, um, that's Fahrenheit to 430, 50 Fahrenheit. Time range between one minute and 24 hours. And that's the dimensions of the machine there, and that's not including the handle, so the handle just jut out a little bit, um, and that's the it including the the handle and it weighs six kilograms mm -hmm. so in the package you get the turbo blaze the crisper plate the user manual and a recipe book i'm just going to get rid of this and we'll show that's, you those the bits from the other side oh it's exactly the same no all oh, right yes didn't you see that so that's nine plus so you've got the turbo mode you've got air fry roast grill and frozen you've got reheat uh, sorry, preheat, reheat, dehydrate, keep warm, proof, which will be a good one if you're doing bread, and bake. So what we're going to test today, we're going to test the air fry and do some homemade chips. We're going to test the bake as well, and that's, um, we're going to do um, sausage, and tomato a sausage and tomato quiche. And we're also going to do a shop bought pie as well, which we had in the freezer. Mm -hmm. So, that's that. Oh. There we go again. So it's quick, easy and delicious. Uh, cooking faster and more energy efficient. You see it's five speed fan for customized flavors. Precise temperature control, nine versatile cooking functions. And obviously it's endless possibilities. It's whatever you want to do in it. There's a little app there as well. Yeah, it's right. a little, um, if you click on the QR code, then it'll take you to the app as well and you get more recipes there. Right, so just gonna move that out of the way for now. So what you also get is you get this lovely little pack here, it's a Kasori pack, and prepare your kitchen and your appetite. Now also you've got social media sites there as well, so you can go onto there with them. And what you have in here, so you have a recommended settings. A little sticker, isn't it? Yeah, so you can take that off. I don't think I'll be doing that. Um, but, you know, if you want to, that could go quite neatly or there. just on the fridge or on, something. Or... Yeah, on the fridge. Somewhere where you want to see it. You have um, a card there. So, they want some feedback on anything. You know, something that you think could work better. Some things that, you know, you don't maybe need. Give them ideas all the time. You've got all your customer supports as well. The emails for them all. And you also get a two-year warranty on it. So, you get that. You also get your user manual and it's got everything in there that you need. It's got all of your functions on that. Just show you. That's what you get in there. And you've got all your functions on there. And I mean it's pretty when I've read through it, it it's easy enough to use. I haven't used it yet. I have taken it out of the box because basically all I wanted to do was to clean the bits on the inside ready for use. So there you go, you've got your cane maintenance, troubleshooting, you know, accessories, so that's that. And you also get a lovely little recipe booklet and it's got your breakfast, appetizers, entrees, sides, desserts, again, social media ones there. And there's loads of ideas. My granddaughter saw that before and says, can we make some of them? And I said, maybe next week. So, and it's got, like I say, loads of different recipes in there. Uh, 
vegetables, meat, um, dehydrate, all sorts. So that's your little pack there. So now onto the machine itself. I mean, it's pretty lightweight, look. I can pick it up and down. So you have your function there. So there you have, you've got all of your, your preheat, reheat, dry, bake, proof, warm. You've got your air fry, which it, which it defaults to every time you turn it on. Roast, grill, frozen. That's got, a turbo mode, isn't it? Yeah. Then you've got your temperature there, so you can go up and down on your temperatures. Your up and down on your times. Preheat function. Yeah, preheat function. And that's for four minutes at 205 degrees. So when you're preparing anything that you want to go in there, you want it to be hot, then, you know, that's the thing that you need to do. So we'll get on uh, back onto those in a second. So what you do is you have to press the button. Yeah, so as soon as you... So it is a safety feature. If you've got children, yeah. you can kind of open it like that without pressing that button in. And, and as soon as there, yes. that's Everything goes off. The display off. goes off when you take the basket out. Yeah, so you can, it, um, it just turns itself off there. So you've got your big pan there, look. And that's got a crisper plate in it. Yeah, and that's got the crisper plate in, which just comes out. So you can use it with it or without it. I like this function because these are rubbers. It sticks, it makes it really tight in there, doesn't it? Uh, and you haven't got metal on metal. Yes. Do you know, yeah. and so, you know, because of that, you're not going to get any scratches. Now there's, you see how big it is? Well, I mean, I've got... Oh, you're better off doing my yeah, hand, wouldn't you? Put your hand in put it. Put my gorilla hands in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's big. Yeah. Yeah, it's big. So what I'm going to do when I make the quiche is use the same pan as what I did the last pie in, which is that one. And as you can see, it fits nicely. in perfectly. Yeah. So what we're going to do is, is I'm going to get this all put back together. We're going to get the frozen, the the pre-board pie out and we'll get this going. So I think, right, I'm just going to put this into preheat. As soon as I've done that, come straight on. And there you go. Oh, it's very quiet, isn't it? Compared to the, compared to the ninja. That compared to the ninja, that is silent. That is quiet. So I'm just going to preheat. I've just got the, the Marks and Spencer's pie. As That's the one see. I was going to review, but yeah. Um, yeah. Just thought, well, we'll try. It's been in the freezer for a little while. So, and this one, it is fan oven, 180 degrees. Preheat the oven, which is what we're doing now. And bacon tray, that's why I've got the crisper in there. Remove carton for best results, remove from foil. Place on the bacon tray. Right, so, <coughs> this needs to come out of the foil. That was the same with the last lemon s pie as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Yummy, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, we'll come back once this is up to t temperature. Right, so that's it, up the temperature now. So what I'm gonna do is I'll turn it back on, bring the temperature down to 180, put it on bake, oh, it's gone back up. 180, and it was for 20 to 25 minutes, so I'll leave it on for the 20 minutes for now. And I'm just gonna take that pie out of there like it says, pop it straight on, and then, back in and press play there you go simple as that and we noticed when it was preheating that there's not a lot of hot air that comes out the back so if Ian wants to go around that side bit and this is the bit that it's coming out of yeah and look I mean I'm touching it yeah. and that's been on it's warm but it's not uh -huh. but it's 200 for four, for four minutes that's just been on and I've got my hand on it yeah so there you go guys we'll bring you back once this is all cooked Right, so it's been in, I put it on originally for 20 minutes and it's got 8 minutes left. So I'm just going to have a check of it, check the temperature. Um, where is it? 59, 64, 68, 70, 72, 73, 74, 75. There we go. Perfect. So how long did that take? Eight minutes off? Twenty? Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Oops. Ooh. Just going to take this out. It's not like that. I think you need a fish slice. Yeah. This one. Oh. It's the 
pies broke up a little bit. That's nothing at all to do with the machine. Well, that's cooked it in less time than what we thought. Yeah. So, yeah. Warm job down, we'll let this cool down a bit and... Uh, then we'll have a look at this one we'll at and we'll get what homemade chips put in. Right guys, so while we're waiting for the pie to cool down so it's easier for us to eat, I'm just going to get my chips in, done what we normally do, make the chips, parboil them, parboil them, and what we've done is we've added some chilli and salt, yes, Chinese salt and chilli pepper seasoning on. This time I'm going to use air fry and... There we go. Straight in. Move that to one side just a tad. Get these in there. And that says 10 minutes at 195. I'm just going to yeah. let it go and see what they're like after 10, and we'll bring you back. Right, so we've got the chips on there. So I'm just going to cut into. This pie, this MLS steak pie, nice and crispy, top and bottom, piping hot. I need a small amount for that. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to eat much of the pastry because you know what I like with pastry, but I'll have a taste of it. Have a little bit. And I'll just have that. Mm. Very hot. Cooked okay? Uh huh. Pasty. It's crispy. Um, just one second. Pasty's lovely and crumbly and crispy. The middle of the pie is, is red hot. So, yeah, I'm impressed with that one. Yeah, cool. Right, so I'm gonna have a go. Have a go with it. The pie itself is lovely, mm -hmm. but the, the crust it is really crispy, isn't it? It's really crispy, meat cooked perfectly, nice and hot. So the cassava has done its job, definitely, in under, under time. So, yeah, mm -hmm. excellent so far. Well impressed, right? So, just look at the instructions again. This should have been on 205. So, I'm just going to put that up there. Oh, again. For what did you say? 12, Six, 12, 12 to 16 minutes. It's already been in seven. So, well, another nine minutes, I would say. Or maybe 10. And, and then we'll, we'll keep checking them anyway. And if they're cooked before that, then we'll see, come it's back. It's a new team. Obviously, it's the first time we've used it. So, yeah. we're just getting used to it. Right. So, we did take the, the time down by another four minutes because we're getting um, they were just about there. So, if oh, you have a look, look at, at those. those wow. So that was 16 minutes all together and that's fresh, that's not frozen chips. That's not frozen chips, yeah. And they were only parboiled for about... Um, that. About four minutes. About four minutes, yeah. So, I'm going to take over and let Ian have a taste. Now, you know Ian's not that keen on potatoes. So, if he... I'll pick a big one, a thicker one. Yeah, that's, that's your worst nightmare. That's a thick one. Yeah. So there we go. Be careful, it'll be hot. I know. Tell you what, you heard that? Crunchy. Mm. Oh, even when you bit into it there. What? Oh. That's perfectly cooked. Soft in the middle. Soft in the middle and a nice crisp skin on the outside. Yeah, beautiful. I'm well impressed with this kasori. Mm -hmm. Um, and the quietness of it. We just kind of get over that. It's our... so quiet compared to the ninja. Uh -huh. It's really, just like really... when you got the ninja on, you can't really watch tell you anything because that's all you can hear. Yeah, because it's all open plan here. But with this, it it's so quiet. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, here's some of the nicest chips I've had. Homemade, beautiful. The crisp on it, absolutely delish. Right, well I'm going to clean this out and we're going mm. to blind bake the pastry case for the quiche now. Mm. Right, so I'm going to blind bake the pastry for the quiche. I've got it on the bake mode now, 170 for about 15 minutes. 
I'm just going to push it back a little bit there and then open it up. Now get this in there. I don't have to preheat because we've literally not long taken the chips out. So there's that. Let's see how it does with a bake. In. And obviously we will keep an eye on it because it's the first time we've used this as well. Um, and just to make sure that it's not burning or anything like that. Right, so just been checking this, got 20 odd seconds left and I noticed the fan speed, it's only at three because obviously the lower cooking temperature, whereas when I had it on the air fry, it was right up to maximum. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is, is this is just blind baking the quiche now. I'm gonna take the baking beans out and maybe do it for another two or three minutes. that blind baked. Oh. So I'm going to take okay. yeah, these out. This is just pastry that I had left over and it was in the freezer. That's stuck a bit. There. I'm just going to put it back in for another couple of minutes just to dry the bottom bit off. Back down to 170. Big. I know. Keep. I keep, keep forgetting to do that bit first. And that's user error. That's nothing to do with the machine. There we go. Another two minutes just to dry that bottom bit out, and then we'll get on with putting the quiche bits in. Right. That's the last two minutes on there. That's just um dried out the bottom bit. So what I'm going to do is, is, where's this, there it is. Carefully take this out of here for now. I'm just going to tidy this up, put the filling in and we'll come back to you once it's going back in the oven. Right, so that's all the filling in. It's a sausage and tomato quiche, this one. It's Ian's favourite. Uh, pastry wasn't that great. I think it's because I froze it and um, I defrosted it a bit too quickly. But anyway, it is what it is, so it's going to go back into the kasabi. I can move it back now. So remember, bake 170, and I'm going to leave it on for 20 minutes. Fan speed 3, look. And off we go again. Come back when it's done? Yep. Right, that's it. That was 20 minutes. And... Oh, look at that beauty. Whoa. That's not looking too shabby, is it? That's looking uh, lovely. Right, so just going to see if I can. Oh, it's a little bit wobbly. Obviously, that's just because I need some oven gloves. That's what I need. Do you, want me, to, do you want me to do it with, like, with that? And then you can maybe get the others. I just don't want to. No, it's alright, I'll get it. Right, so, just going to get that. That's probably the easiest way. There we go. A little bit of pastry's come off, but that's not the end of the world. So there we go, guys. Right, what we've done is, is we've done the steak pie from m &S. We've done the chips. Which we both agree oh, are mate. probably the best chips that we've Lovely had and crispy, yeah. in an air fryer. And it shows you can bake in it. It's not the prettiest, but I know that's going to taste bloody lovely. So, right, I'm going to let that cool down. You can see that it's done. It's just a little bit wobbly, but that'll, that'll settle, down. settle down once it cools a little bit. I'll tell you what, it's so quiet. Oh, and it cooks. We've just been sat out the back, haven't we? Couldn't, can't even hear it. Can't even hear it. So, yeah, um, we'll come back. In about 10-15 minutes when it's cooled down a bit and yep. we'll cut a slice out see what it's like. Yep. Right, so it's now out of the kasori. I've cut a slice off for Ian just to let it cool down a little bit more because tomatoes hot will burn the face off. Yeah. But do you know what? I am absolutely well impressed. I love my oven. Don't get us wrong. Absolutely love my oven. But I am very, that, very that impressed. Kasori, it's, it's I am very impressed with that. I'm not just saying that. Uh -huh. It is. It's really quiet and it cooks really efficiently mm -hmm. and fast. I was impressed the way it did the chips. I was impressed the way it did the pie, and then I'm impressed with the way it's done this quiche. Yeah. So it's just a, a taste test, really. Yeah. Um, 
Now this, we will show you at a later date how to do this recipe. Yes. But just for speed, for, for, for the review for this uh, Kasori, mm -hmm. we've just made one up just to test it. So yeah. I wanted to show that you could do chips in it, yeah. which is, to be perfectly honest, what most people want to have out of an air fryer. Yeah. Excuse the dishes behind. Um, I wanted to show that you could do something that's already prepared which mm -hmm. is the the m s pie and i wanted to show you that you can actually bake in there as well yeah so what i, I want to do is it's, it's done a, it's done it's a, good done job. a really good job of here crispy so what i want to do is ian's going to have a taste test of this then we're going to come back to me and we're going to have a little bit of chat about the giveaway yes okie dokies okay my favorite time my favorite quiche my, my favorite food mm. oh Oh, that is cooked perfectly. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm just going to get a bit of tomato, a bit of sausage, still a bit of steam coming off it, so a bit it's of still really hot. Sausage, sausage. Yes, we're posh, you know. Not. Oh, that's lovely. You can't see, but the, the bottom's quite. Uh, crusty as well. Yeah. And that is cooked right through. Well, that's how crusty it is. You had to use your fork and cook through it. I had to give it some wally there, like. But that. Absolutely brilliant job. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed by it. I'm really, really impressed. It's quieter than the ninja. Mm -hmm. Cooks just as well, if not better. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed. Really, really impressed. So, right. We'll come back to you in a second, guy. Uh, guy, guys. <laughs> and we'll tell you how to uh, enter this if you fancy it. If you fancy the one that we can give away, we'll tell you how. Right. So, my final thoughts on this kasori. Now, I have to admit, we've bought ninjas. You can see we've got two. We've got ninja pans. We've got ninja knives, and I've always been more impressed with them than I've ever thought. However, until today, this machine, and I'm not just saying that because it's a review. I was there, I said to Ian, we'll have the free one to give away to use lot. And this one, I might just give away to somebody else because we don't need three air fryers. Mm -hmm. However, nobody's getting this machine. This is mine. <laughs> so, we will have a link underneath if you're interested in this um there isn't any money deals off it however you know it's at a reasonable price anyway it's an absolutely cracking machine and i would recommend it to anybody mm -hmm. you've seen i've been able to bake in it i've done the pie in it that was already made we've done probably the best chips that we've had out Good of an air fryer um I would keep me 15 and one ninja because I would miss the pressure cooker side of it and the slow, slow cooker, cooker side of it. That's the only thing that that machine will do apart from this. Um, but as an air fryer, as a mini oven, because basically that's the way that I would look at it. You can dehydrate in it and we do that sometimes with tortilla. Tortillas, we'll cut them into squares, eh, sorry, triangles, mm -hmm. we'll make our own nachos out of it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, so you can do all of that. I think it's an absolutely cracking machine. So, when it comes to the giveaway, what we're going to do is, is we've had a discussion, and next Saturday night, probably about six o'clock, we're thinking about going live. Mm -hmm. Ian's found this. Um, app that he can put in everybody's names and you'll be able to see live it will randomly pick somebody because i don't want anybody thinking that we're not fair mm -hmm. um we're not going to give it away to anybody that we know however you have to be subscribed to my channel it has to be uk uk mainland only and in the comments if you want a chance to win this i need you to put in um, yes, Kasori and subscribed. Need to have them. So three things that I really want you to do on that. And whoever gets picked out, 
we will send it off as soon as we possibly can. Work depending, depends on what shift I'm on that week. Um, so, like I say, if you want a chance to have it, just for me to say a little bit of a thank you back to you for every every subscriber that I've got already. Um, would I recommend the Kasori? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's brilliant. Um, I always thought a cheaper machine wouldn't be as good as a Ninja. No. Uh, honestly, and that's me hand on heart. The big thing for me was how quiet how it was. How quiet. You we can't were, even hear it. As you can see in the background, we have an open plan kitchen and sitting room. So if we put the Ninja on and we're sitting there watching the TV while the Ninja's uh, doing its business, you can't even hear the TV. You've got to have it turned right up, right up. This, it's silent. Absolutely silent. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you enjoy this, guys. I know it's out of the ordinary. However, like I say, I just want to give something back. And if this is the way that I can do it, then I can. And I'm going to do a roast chicken in this tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Because... A full roast chicken. With both ninjas, they're not big enough to do a large chicken. Well, you might get it in the grill, but... No, because you can splash cock it. Oh, There's that's not that right. much room. Oh, it's the depth, isn't it? It's the depth, the hair. It's not the yeah. width, it's the depth. Hmm. Um, so, I'm going to do a full roast chicken in here tomorrow for a chicken dinner. Um, and we'll have another look at it. Yeah. So, right, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. See you later, guys. See you later. Bye.